All right, here's my next project. Taking my Dakar overloads, springs off, and replacing those with the Icon slash whoever. I think they're all the same. The three leaf Adelies. So I'm going to try that for the dunes. Because when those overload springs hit, they hit, hit kind of hard. It's not too bad, but the back is still a little bit rough. And so I'm going to try the overloads, see how it is. I don't tow as much anymore. And people have been saying they, they hold the weight good. I even have the Dakar add a leaf springs. If I need to add a leaf in there, or maybe freshen up one of these leaves and pull it out and replace it with a new one, I'll figure it out. So the next step is to install this side. Just check the ride height and stuff, see if it's matching. And then, if it works, I'm going to switch out both sides and try it out. I had the Dakar leaf springs, which give you around 2.5 to 3 inches of lift. I think they sag a little bit over time, start getting down to 2.5 inches. Um, on the dunes, I'm going through full travel, but these overload springs um, start to cause issues. That's why everybody goes to the other leaf springs eventually for fast driving but I really like my Dakars I like the exactly the way they are I just want to get rid of my overload springs so I'm going to replace my overloads with the Icon or whoever makes these uh, Adelifs I think they're all the same they're all the exact same price they all look the same um, I don't know if there's different manufacturers or not I'm going to replace those with the add a leaf. If you're replacing that one, here's all your leaves. This one here, you could either take out or keep it in. If you're going to take, if you're going to keep it in, you have to take off that rivet and get rid of that clamp. Okay? Because if these clamps are going to overlap. You have to get rid of that one. And that's about it. And that's going to about probably max out. These clamps will be maxed out. They'll give you an eight leaf pack. I did order the overload leaf. Didn't need it, so I have that in reserve. If I want to go to a nine leaf pack, if I start adding more weight, or if I think these leaves are a little weak, I'll strengthen it up. But right now they seem fine. So here's the project. Here's what I'm doing. So I'm removing this one, replacing it with those. I'm going to keep this one in. And I think with this one in, it's making it uh, maybe the pack is a little bit stiffer because these two leaves are kind of almost the same so you're almost doubling down on that leaf um, so it makes the pack maybe slightly stiffer I'm not gonna know till I drive it um, with this combination I'm getting not quite a half inch of lift three eighths of an inch to almost a half an inch higher than with this so again this pack is this pack is thicker by a little bit so you're losing a quarter inch but because this arc is actually strengthening those leaves that now the pack looks more curved and you're picking up about a half inch of lift because you're compensating for this difference and you're getting a little extra lift so now the leaves actually have some arc you can see the driver's side is installed if you can see this and now the shock's at full extension right now, but still, even still, these leaves, even under compression, you have, that whole leaf pack is now art, which I like a lot better than before they sat so flat. So yeah, this is what I'm doing. I'm changing out the, putting the add leaves on there. Uh, why am I doing that? I don't want to spend another $800 for a full leaf pack, and then I don't know 100% what I'm getting. Now they can custom make you a pack, um, and maybe I can get the same lift and everything with a full, full brand new pack. I don't know, but for I think it's roughly 200 bucks, I can just get rid of the overload, which is really just my problem right now. And I'm going to give it a try. If they're, if it's too stiff or too soft, then I know I got to order like a, just a, I'll have to order a set of leaf springs. But if I can get away for 200 bucks and it works out, I win. <laughs> if not. <laughs> Then I lost, but again, uh, keep modifying our trucks. We keep trying to go to the next level. Um, 
I got my, I'm getting my shocks revalved. I got my shocks almost perfect. I think the one hang up now is these overload springs on the dunes. Everywhere else I, I don't have a problem with them. They seem fine. I can carry heavy loads if I need to. Um, they go through 80% of the travel really good. It's when you're on the dunes and you're really using all that travel. Everybody knows that these overloads start to be a problem. They start to buck a lot. So I'm trying to fix that just by adding the AAL to my Dakar Leafs. And we'll see how it works out. Alright, I got the leaf springs on. Looks like I'm maybe netting a little bit of lift or maybe not much at all. Uh, when I measure it, it seems like it's coming out pretty close. I don't know if you can see that good in the video, but that's what the leaf springs look like once they're on. And they definitely have, now they have a little bit of arc going to them. Instead of laying so flat, um, it looks like I've netted out about the same lift. I, had, I was six inches off the bump stop and I'm still six inches off the bump stop now, so it's basically about the same. Um, we'll see after we drive a little bit. Um, just initially seems about the same. Maybe the initial bump is slightly softer, but we'll we'll see when we get out and drive it. Um, see how I like it. But yeah, everything went on. Fits good. I think I like the way it turned out. We'll just see now if that's going to be too soft or too stiff and go from there. Hopefully it was... A, a success I <laughs> saved some money if not I'll still have to order leaf springs but at least this gives me an idea uh, where I'm at where I want to be for leaf springs for now all right